Does anyone else see like weird black stuff coming out from that candle? That's really not good. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine and I'm so, so, so excited to show this to you guys. I've gotten a couple of questions and comments and whatever, so I thought I might just show it to you guys. I know I have a zit on my nose. It's bothering me just as much as it's bothering you, but the products are still good. Don't know what that was. Water's good for your skin. So the first product that I use is mostly at nighttime though is a micellar water or just something to get the makeup off my skin. This is the simple micellar water. I heard that some other micellar waters put like bad stuff in their products and they can give you cancer and we don't want that. So I got this one because it's like pure or whatever. I don't know. It's good. It takes my makeup off. So I double cleanse because I have very um, problematic skin and I think that just like removing my makeup and then washing my face isn't enough so I use two cleansers one is kind of like an exfoliator and then the other is a cleanser so they're both by glam glow this isn't sponsor sponsor me though that'd be really fun um this is the glam glow galactic cleanse and it's like a jelly cleanser it's really smooth on the skin and then the glam glow youth cleanse and this is more of kind of an exfoliator but it's not like super harsh on the skin it's very smooth but it does get stuff out so I use this first and then I'll go in with this I just use my hands for these um, I don't use like a special brush or anything but if you were to get a brush you know that would probably help too these are good I really like these nothing else has worked on my skin as well as these have so toner is really important I used to kind of skip out on this step and it actually does really work so this is the Clinique acne solutions Clarifying Lotion Step 2 Sicilic Acid Acne Medication Toner. So that's a mouthful. Um, no, I just take this on a cotton round after I wash my face with those two cleansers and um, just put it all over your face. It does help clarify my skin. I've noticed a big difference with this. I'm like so ready to be sponsored by one of these companies. Um, so yeah, this is really good. I don't know what it does. It just kind of makes everything less dull if that makes sense so this is definitely a must-have and I know a lot of these products are high-end and I'm so so sorry about that I will do a drugstore skincare routine soon but um, yeah this is really helpful so I don't really know where to put this in this routine but this is the Mario Badescu rose water spray rose water is really 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 good for your skin I don't know if I can stress that enough it's I don't know if it's scientifically proven, but it's proven, you know what I mean? This one's almost empty, kind of tragic. Oh, I love that. I need to get a new one. And it's only like $7 or something, so it's super inexpensive. Very attainable. I get it at Urban Outfitters. You can get it at like a drugstore, Ulta, something like that. For my eyes, I guess you can say, I use three products. So for my under eyes, I use the Milk Makeup cooling water this is an actual this is a mini one it fits perfectly under my eyes the little mini one I have the full size and it's just huge so um, I do like to get the mini ones they were perfect they're cooling it's in the name cooling water you know really helpful because it helps depuff your eyes so I use this morning and night and then another morning and night product that I use is the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado this is so good I've never found um, an under eye cream that's really worked for me as well as this one has. I think it's because it's really thick and hydrating Whereas some other eye creams that I've used have been really kind of thin and watery So I don't know this one has definitely made a big difference. It's brightening. It's really healthy I use this morning and night as well. Um, I really like it. So this is a product. I use only at nighttime this is the Lash food eyelash enhancer. Um, I just take this and put it on my lash line and it just helps strengthen your lashes. It helps grow them. It's a really, really good product. I use this only at nighttime and then in the morning, like it washes off when I wash my face, but I really do like this. So for an oil, I do have pretty dry skin. Um, in the summertime, it's less dry and more just kind of like matte. Like my skin never really gets oily though. So um, to help compensate for that, I use an, my voice. Um, to help compensate for that, I use an oil. This is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. This is an amazing oil. It's so 
so good it's really hydrating and it doesn't break me out so I just take this it's like a little clicky pen and I only put it on my cheekbones I don't put it in my t-zone because I don't want to clog those pores but I do want to keep just the rest of my face well hydrated so I put this on my face but not in my t-zone if that makes sense and then for sunscreen sunscreen is so important I cannot stress this enough to you guys please please protect your skin it's a, it's a scary world out there and the Sun looks fun and nice and warm but it's really bad for your skin so use a sunscreen this is the Glossier Invisible Shield daily sunscreen it's got SPF 35 in it it's really smooth on the skin it's really um, light too it's like a gel kind of formula so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a sunscreen if I recommend this so that's essentially my skincare routine the only things that I don't use every day is the oil it just depends on how dry my skin is but everything else I'll use every day in order of how I showed it to you guys and then depending on if it's morning or night you know that just depends but now I'm going to show you guys some masks that I use so I'm gonna show you guys like five masks just kidding I only have four just kidding, I only have three. Um, this is not a mask, it's a scrub. So this is the Fresh Sugar Face Polish. I love this stuff so much. I cannot express to you enough how much I love this. It's amazing. You just put it on your face, you leave it on for 10 minutes, and then you wash it off. And it just gets all like the dead skin off your face, if that makes sense. So it's really, really nice. Um, I use this before I put on my masks. You don't have to, but I just like to use it before I put on my masks to make my skin really smooth and ready for, you know, rejuvenation. Is that the right word? I don't know. So for a peel off mask, I recommend this one. This, this is the I Do Care Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. It's really, um, it doesn't damage your skin. I feel like there are some masks that when you pull them off, like the peel off part, it like rips at your skin and that's really not good for it. I feel like this one, it's definitely a lot softer with the skin when you're, you know, ripping off. It doesn't hurt like terribly, you know what I mean? For a sheet mask, this is the one I recommend. This is the um, Tony Moly I'm Real Rice, Sh okay, I can't speak. Rice Mask Sheet Clear Skin, Clear Skin. What is this called? I don't know. It looks like this. It's right. It's the rice one. Um, it smells really clean. And I just put this on my face for like 20 to 30 minutes and it helps it so much. You can get these on Amazon. You can get these from Urban Outfitters. They're super inexpensive. Um, and this one out of all of them has helped my skin the most. But I do recommend a lot of the Tony Moly masks. They work really well. And then the last mask that I have to show you guys is the Sephora Red Clay Mask. This mask is amazing. It helps kind of detoxify your pores, but also just helps moisturize your skin. I don't know how it does both at the same time, but it's really good. It's anti-fatigue and energizing. I love this so much. So yeah, I recommend this a lot. It's really good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time I do a skin care routine I promise I'll talk through it with you guys in the bathroom I just need to figure out like the lighting situation but that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching I love you so so much subscribe give this video a thumbs up I love you